Hello, we'll try something different today. I hope you don't mind. I'll make a drawing of an insect, a ladybug. I spend a lot of time every year taking thousands of pictures, macros. And it's nice to have a picture to look at when you're making a detailed drawing. And that's what I will try to do today. I will use ink pen, white paper. Well, we'll see how that goes. If you want to join me, you're welcome. It's awfully quiet here. I think we put the robin back on. Röd haken. I'm a slow sketcher. I think we speed it up. That's better. Drawing round shapes is the hardest, I think very hard to find the right form but once you have got the outlines in place you have done much of the hard work this ladybug is one of the most common in Sweden and Europe but it's not well known, probably because it's tiny, only 4 mm. And it has this distinct pattern, yellow and black, like a chessboard. And the Swedish name is Schackbrädspiga, chessboard beetle. You don't want the black parts to be completely black. You want to leave some white areas here and there for light reflexes and to emphasize the round three-dimensional shape. That's the hardest part. It's good not to only make one part and finish it, but to draw here and there over the whole bag. When drawing with a pen with a fine tip, you can create shades by drawing parallel lines. And putting the lines more dense or crossing the lines will create a darker shade. Classic drawing technique. And if you put the lines the same direction as the shape of the subject, you can create three-dimensional feeling And I think I'll leave it like that for a while and start with the background.
It's sitting on a plant. I'm not sure which one. When you see plants this close up, it's quite hard to distinguish the species. I don't remember. But you draw what you see. Quite simple. And I place all these small flowers. So they create kind of a framing for the bag. And I also want to tone down the background a bit to highlight the bag. Instead of drawing with a black pen, I draw with grey shades. Making some parts darker, some parts lighter, is how you create the depth in the image to make it three-dimensional. To distinguish different parts of the image from each other, you can make different kind of patterns. So here I use spots on the flowers to separate them and give more life to the image. Alright, I think I'm finished. Just leave it like that. Thanks for your patience and thanks for watching. See you.